Hello, hello, and welcome back to Lawrence Plays. And it's time for some more Manhunt Checkpoint, because it's a whatever day it is when you're watching this. Probably a Thursday. Maybe, likely to be a Thursday. And so, as usual, I'm out trying to get some checkpoints. There's one of them just behind me. Um, slightly unfortunately, when I uh, went to steal this car, the owner, or previous owner, should we say, <laughs> drove into the back of the car I was uh, making them stop with. So I have a bit of a scratch on the front of it, which is unfortunate, and might possibly get some attention from the hunters. But I'm going to sort of be vaguely optimistic about it and, 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 hope, and just hope for the best. So we are playing um, we are playing Manhunt Checkpoint, that means I have to drive around the city and try and take the checkpoints, of which there will be five, <clears throat> and because the hunters don't know where they are, we, ha we have one appear at a time, because they can't set up an ambush, so this way, if, if a difficult one comes up, then I'm sort of forced to take it. That was Mike going past in a sort of a rather Mike-esque way. Um, you can tell it was Mike because he's in an orange car, and the hunters all, will all drive their cars in their brightly coloured personal player colours so that they can recognise each other, and so that I can recognise them as well. However, we are actually today playing with the, um, the more interesting colour modes turned on, which is where all the cars would normally spawn in in some sort of boring um, noughties, 2010s, 2020s colours like um, grey and grey and grey and grey. Uh, now will automatically be recolored into a different color, which is why you can see a brown and a blue car behind me. That truck over there is red. There's another blue car. I'm in a red one's green, and so on. But this does mean that some of the more outlandish colors that the hunters drive do actually spawn in. So we will get naturally spawning purple cars, for example, which we wouldn't get in an, in a normal um, GTA session. And there's going to be more orange cars than normal. There's going to be some uh, mark green cars knocking around. So it's, it's a little bit harder for, to identify the hunters because I can see a brightly colored car. And like that orange one that's parked over there, and that isn't Mike. Um, that well, that green one over there is is the wrong colour to be Mark. But you, you get the idea that that could it's the sort of cars that they could be um, be players. Anyway, more important things. There is a checkpoint up there, so that's not very far away. I can now hopefully get, drive up the hill and go and get that. I've picked up a sports car because it's quick. That's a pretty good reason as far as I'm concerned and that means that if if or more likely when we get into a chase because I do something dumb and give myself away um, I'll be able, I'll have a reasonable chance of getting away from the hunters so I think it's worth me taking a reasonably good car like that Sick ride. I don't like sitting in traffic though that's usually bad for my health because um, the hunters know that if they see large quantities of cars sitting around in a sort of a relatively small area then there's a fairly high chance that one of them's me so I don't like to sit in traffic jams, which is why you'll probably see me start to run red lights if, if the cars start to build up around me. That looks like Mike again, so I'm going to go down here. Now that wasn't technically running a red light, because we're in America, and I believe that's legal around here, um, to, to, turn, to turn right on a red light. At least in some situations, I don't know exactly what the rules are. I think it's basically unless there's a sign telling you you can't. Um, but everyone else who's playing is also European, so they don't know either. That's a purple car, that's probably a Tristan. He seems to be inquisitive of me. Not sure why. Uh, it's probably because I haven't turned my horn, I think. There we go, I'll send the horn. But I reverse in the I press reverse instead of sound horn because it's been a while since I've played this, or at least it feels like it's been a while since I've played. Um What was I doing last week? I can't even remember what I was doing last weekend. But um yeah, it's quite likely that I, th I think it's been a while since we played. <laughs> so um so I've sort of forgotten how, and I've forgotten the sort of little things you're supposed to do, like sound your horn when a when a hunter rams you and that sort of thing. Uh, the problem is, though, that the AIs tend to not just sound their horns, they also shout abuse at the players when they drive into them, and I can't do that. So, it's a bit, that's that's sort of problematic, but it mean, it makes it slightly harder for me to, me to imitate an AI. So my best bet is often not so much to imitate an AI, but just to try and not get suspected in the first place. There goes two of them. Did they see me fly across behind them? I don't think so. Let's get a little bit of distance down. Where am I trying to go? Well, let's not use a cinematic camera. I don't know how that happened. I don't I don't think I pressed the button. I don't know. Oh, that looks like Mark behind me. It is Mark behind me. Okay, time to get out of here. Um, and more hunters going across that way. So um, let's go in the opposite direction from them. I think that's probably a good idea. I keep seeing that blue... Um, big SUV thing around. Uh, I don't know whether it's the same... No, there's another one there and it wasn't moving fast enough, so that must just be a particularly popular colour of SUV around here. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, how am I going to lose Mark? That's the first question. 
Um, I think, given that I've got a faster car than him, it shouldn't be too difficult. I just need to whip in and out of a few of these sort of side roads and things. Um, a few bursts, of, a little bit of burst of speed in a straight line like that to get some distance down. Uh, that can't be Tristan. I left him way. I'm sure I left him way behind. And then change a direction or two to um, actually finalise the uh, the escape. Uh, finalise isn't quite the right word, but to actually make sure it's a, it is an escape rather than just an I've snuck around a corner and he hasn't seen me do it. Um, now I want to, I need a new car at this point because they've all seen the red convertible uh, Carbonara that I'm driving. So I want something else, but I want something that's reasonably good. So next time they spot me and I get in a chase, I'm not completely doomed. Um, what's in here? There's a couple of blisters. Uh, I didn't actually mean. To... Oh, let's take let's take this pink. What is this even? Is it, oh, it's a, a Sayer. That's not a great car, <clears throat> but it might do as a way of sneaking away from here. Is that? A... That's a Volvo 850. Let's take that for a novelty and something different. I've never driven one of these before. Oh, Although I think my dad owned one back when I was um, <laughs> a teenager. So let's yeah, let's use a Volvo. Let's take the Volvo 850. See how this goes. See how this feels. It's a sedan, which is quite nice because we have a rule in this game that if you're driving a car that is worse, a worse class than coupes or um, or muscle cars then you you get free bulletproof tires to go along with it. So this means that if, if they start shooting at me, then, well, we'll have the uh, the legendary res resilience of a Volvo to protect me, and bulletproof tires as well. So hopefully that's going to go quite well for me, um, but it remains to be seen. We shall see how it goes. Unfortunately, they have seen my face because Tristan pulled up in front of me and sat there for ages looking at me, trying to get a beep out of me, or trying to get a shout out of me. Um, and then I didn't drive away particularly effectively. So if they if they look in through the through the um, through the windscreen, they're probably going to recognise me. That said, the windscreen isn't huge, so it might be slightly tricky for them to see in. We'll we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, I have definitely, definitively, and certainly escaped from them by now. So I'm going to go back to trying to sneak towards the next checkpoint, which is this time is over at Chinese Monument. So that's not too far away. Um, from here, I did sort of head down this way a little bit deliberately when I was uh, when I was in the chase to sort of to try and put myself in the right sort of general area. So I can probably trundle along this way, follow this Asir in front of me, and with any luck, I'll get over there without too much attention from the hunters. Now, as I was saying earlier, they don't know where I'm trying to get to. They know roughly where I am because there is a circle on the map that gives them a rough indication of my area. Um, there's, the circle shows up on their maps and they know that I am definitely inside it, but they don't know where I am inside it, so it's a clue rather than a dead giveaway. They also know where all the checkpoints are, but they don't know which one I'm going to. So I can, I, yeah, so I can head towards Chinese Monument and they might think, well he might be going for Chinese Monument, he might be going for Beach and so on and so on. I'm not waiting at this tra traffic light because there's too much traffic around. Um, and there's a lot of panicking people around as well. Somebody's obviously been shooting in the area. I did see a couple of red flashes. Anyway, yes, yeah, so they, they might see me see the map, the circle going over this way and say, well, he might be heading for Chinese Monument. There's quite a, there's a checkpoint over there, and that's the sort of the general area he's, he's going towards. But they won't be sure that I'm going there. They might think I'm going for beach or somewhere else that's in this sort of general direction. So let's continue along here. There's Obviously, there's a checkpoint ahead of me. There you have nice, bright red... I don't even know what to call that. Um... Cylinder, cylinder will do as a, as a word, um, on the map, uh, on the on the on the on the road. So I need to try, head towards that. I'm waiting at a red light for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, that's probably why because Mark has just shot past me, and I don't didn't want him to spot me. So I, obviously there's no there's no rule against me running red lights. I'm as a player I can do that sort of thing as much as I want. Um, but if the hunters get, if the hunters see me running a red light, then they'll get suspicious and they might attack me. And that's the sort of thing I try to avoid. Um, and with Mark, just is that Mark lurking there? It might be. I can't really tell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this red light actually because I'm sort of getting scared by just waiting. Um, <laughs> so yeah, running red lights, it's, it's a sort of risk reward thing um, of a sort of a do I want to risk? Oh, that blew up very, very quickly. Um, the, do I want to risk um, taking the uh, 
do I want to risk running the red light in order to move a bit quicker and stay away from all the traffic that's around me or do I want to sit in or do I want to try and pretend to be a good AI which means I end up sitting around for a lot longer which is quite scary and also dangerous and so on but it gets me it, it means if they happen to be looking at me at that point it's not so suspicious good car. so that um blister in front of me I think has bucket seats in it or at least the seats look quite sporty anyway I'm not sure if they're actually full on bucket seats and with the four point harness five, four or five point harness no five point harness that's what I'm trying to say um, or whether they just look a little bit from behind but uh, and maybe it's just because they were red so it made them more obvious I don't know but anyway it looks sort of vaguely sporty okay so shopping centre jump I'm going to keep with the Volvo because as far as I'm aware it hasn't been it hasn't been recognised We've had various hunters have seen it. Well, I say various hunters. Mark has definitely seen it. Um, ooh, get across there before the other car does. Right. Um, but they haven't attacked it. So I'm going to assume that means they haven't um, identified it as being me. So I'm going to continue with it for now. Even if that bright pink banshee does look like quite a lot more fun. But the Volvo... I don't know. It's 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 the nearest to a tank that I'm allowed to drive. <laughs> I think it's probably quite, a, but it's probably going to be a reasonably good car for this sort of thing, even if it's not going to handle or be particularly quick, um, handle particularly well or be particularly quick. Uh, I think that's enough waiting there. Oh, or the the um the chrome. What is that even? I'm not quite sure what that was, but that uh, certainly a, a chrome is an interesting choice for a car, um, and quite striking. But it would be very, very obvious to the hunters if... Ooh, that was a red light, never mind. It would be very, very obvious to the hunters if they happen to see it. So, I don't know. should be slightly cautious. Are you not allowed to go into shopping centre jump... Into the shopping centre tunnel from here? Maybe you're not. I'm trying to make out... I mean, both, of the side, both of the arrows on the road say turn left. But I kind of feel like the one on the, the right-hand lane does look like it turns left and then goes into the... Well, no, it goes a tiny bit left and then goes into the tunnel, like, like Mark just did as he drove past. That's a purple car, is that Tristan? I don't think it is, because I don't see any underglow on it. Um, and it's driving reasonably normally, which is not normal for hunters. There's Mike. Okay, so we've had a burst tyres event. One of the things that this game does is um, whenever a checkpoint is taken, there's about a 50% chance, uh, sorry, so when a checkpoint is taken, there's about a 50% chance of an event happening. Um, events can be lots and lots of different things. In this particular case, it's you get your tyres burst, or at least some of your tyres burst. So I'm now shy at least, a, at least one tyre on that car. So I'm going to um, abandon it there and walk in a slightly staggery way which is rather slow unfortunately every so often whenever I try and do a bit of out of car stuff I end up rolling an NPC skin who just walks like well slowly anyway I need a different vehicle because that one is missing its tires now the thing about the tire popping is it happens to every car so it's not just my car that loses its tires because if it was I'd be really really obvious people are running why are people running uh, obviously a hunter's been shooting but I'm going to use it running. Running pedestrians is an excuse to also run. Ow. Let's take this. Oh, it's a... Um, oh, it's because this is the Honda... This is the Civic Type R. That's why it's got the sports seats. <clears throat> okay, it's not a blister. It's the car the blister is based on. <laughs> I mean, that makes a certain amount of sense. <clears throat> right, so... Um, yes, VTEC, yo. Okay, so West Red Cover. Yeah, so the, the tire bursting thing. Um, it bursts everyone's tires. Mine, the hunters, any AI cars around, all that, everyone's. So in theory, that means <clears throat> that the hunters will, the hunters will obviously know that I'm somewhere in the area. I've just taken the checkpoint because they'll have seen the thing go bang. But they won't know. They won't be able to use that to identify which car was me or anything like that because that would be um, make it a bit too easy for them. And it also means they now have to scramble to go and replace their tyres and stuff like that. So it's a bit of a disadvantage for everyone, or at least that's the theory. There are quite a lot of different effects that can happen. Um, what was that Volvo doing? And this was merely one of them. So um, yeah, it's a good uh, it, it's a good thing to add a little bit of extra interest to the game. Should we say is that Mark again? Yes, it is. Still in a large four x four type thing. Um, I'm a bit concerned 
He's here and he's suspicious because there's a lot of cars here. <clears throat> there are a lot of cars here because I'm here. But also, potentially there are a lot of cars here because he's here and I'm hoping he's going to think that. And I'm going to sneak off to the right here and see if that gets me away from him. That means I'm going to be following this green assayer. But, if Mark doesn't, then that's good news for me. That wasn't the best turn I've ever taken. But it seems to have worked. I don't... Oh no, he's following me. Ah, crap. Uh... Oh, that was a wibble. I didn't mean to wibble. He's driven past. Oh, he's going after that, that green car. Uh, okay, he's gone after that green car because I horned at the right time. Excellent. So I'm um, not hanging around here. He's clearly gone to murder that poor innocent green car. So I think it's time I wasn't here. And so from here, there's quite a good escape route. Also known as... Oh no, I've gone the wrong... Oh no, oh, made it just about. Also known as the highway. So I'm going to take this and get out of Dodge, as they say. Oh, I thought that was him right behind me there, but no, it's just another greenish SUV type vehicle because it, it doesn't have the underglow, so I'm pretty sure it means it's not him. Uh, right, let's let's skedaddle. In fact, better idea, let's skedaddle this way because this is the way to get this is this is this is the direction towards the checkpoint. Basically, that's why I'm going this way. Um, I do still need a, a new car because this one is it's lost its headlights. There's a mic over there. I saw the orange headlights. Um, he looks like he's facing towards me now. Okay, I need to get out of here and get off this road um, because I think he might be following me. Um, let's turn my headlights off as well. My tail lights off as well. So now we won't. Hopefully, he won't see me coming up here. And going from here. Let's see if I, if I turn right and if I go right again, maybe into movie studios. And the problem with going in here is AI vehicles don't drive through here. So if they see me in here, it's really obviously me. But if they didn't see that, which it looks like he didn't because there's nothing behind me, I might be okay. I still need a new car though. Oh, let's take that. I'm not even sure what it is. Oh, it's a cockette. Of course it's a cockette. Yeah. Um, right, so now I need to get back. Right, I've got, I've got, I've got a change of car. It's mostly unscathed. It's a slightly weird colour, but that's that's pretty normal for the for this game, and um, because of the way we the, the way we've played with it. So now I'm um, on approach to that next checkpoint. I can head back down towards Chinese Monument, and I think they know I've already taken Chinese Monument. What's that car blinking there? Is that Mike doing shenanigans, or is it? Yeah, it must be Mike. I don't see any under. <laughs> that's Mike jumping out of his car and having massive lag issues. Um, interesting. I think he's changing cars, so I'm just going to get out of here. Um, I mean, he is changing cars. What's that? What's he got into? Looked, looked a bit sporty for what they're supposed to be using, but maybe, unless it was just another random orange car that happened to be there when he was changing vehicles. I don't know. There is shenaniganery happening behind me. Behind me is the correct place for shenaniganery to be happening, so I'm, I'm, um, I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm in actually in almost the same place I was for the, um, the last checkpoint, or was it the one before? I've kind of lost track. Is that Mike again in the middle of the road? No, 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 that's Mike there. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, he's heading towards the checkpoint, which is a bit of a concern. He seems to have turned back into a Blinkmobile again, which is a bit also, which is a bit of a concern because um, Mike used to have all kinds of problems with lag, and then he got a computer that actually isn't a potato. But now he seems to be having problems with lag again. So now, to be fair, he did say before the start he was having some internet issues. Uh, which is probably what's causing it. Um, that car in front of me is behaving a bit weirdly as well. Um, I think probably due to similar reasons. That must be one that he caused to spawn in and therefore is his problem. Um, Tristan is there again, investigating those Reginas in front of me. I don't like this um, because Pete is behind me as well. Maybe Tristan's gone. No, no Tristan's headed off. Okay. So he investigated a, Re a Regina decided it wasn't me and didn't look at the coquette that was just behind it. I mean, sure, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> <I'm> <laughs> um, I do want to not be here though because they're going to... Oh dear. Two of them. <laughs> um, okay, so I 
I wasn't quite subtle enough about leaving that checkpoint, I think. Um, however, I do have the better car, so fingers crossed. At least they didn't start chasing me when I was in the Volvo, because that would have been a lol no. Okay, so we're in, in a chase again. What have we got? I've got Tristan behind me. I did see um, Mike shoot across um, in an odd direction. Pete was be behind me before the chase even started. So he's in the area, or he was in the area until I left the area at high speed. Um, lights off. There we go. Make it make things a little bit hard for, harder for them if I can. Um, yeah, so we've got... At I know at least three of the hunters have been sort of vaguely around, and we'll see how, how if, if any more of them turn up. But I think I've done reasonably well with my driving there. I think I might be I might be free. I haven't turned the circle off um, because if I turn the circle off, then I need to wait a while before I can take the next checkpoint because otherwise it's just not fair. Um, but I do so. I, but I do still need another car, even though I'm um, uh, even though I'm still sort of sort of visible. So, there's a lot of purple cars scattered around. Has Tristan really been making that much of... Well, he clearly has been making that much of a mess before you. No, you, you won't do. Oh, I see a dark car behind No, it's still Tristan. He's still behind me. Oh, I thought I'd got rid of him. Um, I have admittedly done the thing that Mike always criticises me for doing, which is um, getting a little, bit out, a little bit away from a chase and then starting immediately to look for a new car without getting off the main road first. That's Ed. That's Ed. Do not want... <laughs> um... <clears throat> yeah, getting out, getting sort of kind of out of a chase, or at least a little bit of a headroom on a chase, and then changing cars. Well, oh dear. Um, well, it's a time when I really, really shouldn't, basically. Oh dear. And if, if, if Mike is, is blinking all over the place quite like that, then that might make him significantly more dangerous because he'll be even more unpredictable than normal. That said, I currently have, I think, I'm pretty sure that's a yellow light behind me, so that must be Ed. Um. Uh, and other other similar noises. Uh, okay. Uh, so right, yeah. So I need to, basically what I'm trying to say is I've 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 I like to say I'd like to say I've learned. I haven't really learned, but I'm vaguely aware <laughs> that when I think I've managed to get away from the hunters, I should put in a couple of quick turns, get on some smaller streets, and then start thinking about changing cars rather than doing it in the sort of the opposite order to that. Because trying to change cars when there's a hunter three feet away from you is quite difficult and tends to go badly. So it's, it's best avoided, is what I'm trying to say. Now once again, I think I've got away from them. But the circle is still turned on. So they're going to know roughly where I am. But I think I'm probably okay. So let's have another Volvo, because I find Volvo, basically because I find Volvos amusing. You think you can just push people around? Yes, yes I do. Um, oh, call this, this, the acceleration just, just, there just isn't any. I've got my foot flat to the floor. I'm, ex that is literally accelerating as hard as possible. Um, okay, so maybe the Volvo, not actually such a good idea, because if I get in any kind of chase, uh, maybe, maybe the, um, maybe the Volvo is actually based on the, uh, the Regina in front of me. It's the same, same sort of, I mean, they're the same sort of car. They're both estate cars. Maybe they actually have the same, um, handling model and speed model mod model and so forth so I think a different vehicle might be a good idea let's take this is that a, I think that might be a Dodge Durango now, yes it is I've driven one of these in real life and oh I was spotted changing cars that's really unfortunate um, I've driven one of these in real life and it had quite a good turn of speed I mean the, the thing weighed about a billion tons but it had a, I mean, it's an American SUV. It had a 27 litre engine or something like that. I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm making numbers up. Can you tell? Uh, so, yeah, it, it shifted reasonably well. Um, but this is probably going to be based on the GTA, on the Gresley from GTA or something like that that's not quite so quick. So, it, I don't know. We, 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 sh we shall see. Ooh, I've just had a brilliant idea. Well, no, I've just had an idea. <laughs> we'll see whether it turns out to be brilliant or not. So, the next checkpoint is the beach one. So, what if I approach that by water? As in, swimmingly. That will really, hopefully, will throw the hunters off. Ooh, I like this idea. So, I'm going to head down this way. Pete is still behind me, of course, because, well, of course he is. I've not done anything too evasive to try and get rid of him. He's, um, and he's got probably a significantly faster car than me. But if I then come off here, go through this way, 
and then ditch it into the water at speed and get out and start swimming swimming that way please no swim 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 press the right buttons Lawrence there we go they will probably start yes they've started shooting into the water that's fine they can do that all they want because it won't do them any they well they, they if they as long as they can't see me they can do all the shooting they like now how much air have I got not very much I've got about a third of my a third of my lungs left okay so I'll surface as briefly as I can surface and then dive again now I'm far enough out to see that there's sufficient waves that they can't see me uh, now head and head north a bit okay so what I'm gonna do and they're probably gonna suspect me suspect I'm doing this which is a little bit unfortunate but if I can get over to the beach and get one of the cars from over there then I'll be really close to the checkpoint and I don't know when the, um, the circles going to move but oops, time to surface again uh, I don't they they're yeah, they're probably going to have a vague idea of what I'm trying to do. But the beach is a big area. I might be able to pop out out over here somewhere without them seeing me. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's I didn't have a, I don't think I don't think I had many other ways of escaping in that um in that Durango because it's not exactly a speed machine. So, yes. My hope is that I can surface over here. The beach is big. Um, the hunters don't know that I'm going for the beach checkpoint so maybe I can get out here cross the beach or maybe there'll be a sniper bullet waiting for me we shall find out perhaps I should have swum a bit further I don't know anyway I'm now quite close to the checkpoint so if I come up here what I'm going to try and do yeah, is, is, is take the checkpoint on foot, I think. Now, I'm listening out for any hunters because they, the vi they might be in. They, they, they're going to, tr they're going to try and get over here as quickly as they can because I've, I've jumped into water and swum across before to get away from them. So they know that's a thing I, I'm aware of as being a good, a good yeah. trick and a way of I escaping. They've also seen my character model, which is unfortunate. If they didn't, if they didn't have a clue what I looked like, this would be quite easy. But that's the reason I'm still running is because I'm hoping to get there before them. Uh, let's not take this road, let's take this road. The shooting of off somewhere, I, I couldn't tell where that was. It seemed like it was quite a long way away. I don't know. But my hope is, if I run up here, I can tag this checkpoint. Like, is it E? Yes, it is. And then... <laughs> So the event for this checkpoint was spawn a tugboat. Nice. Now, I'm going to just hide. And my hope is... Right, so this is this is going to be an interesting experiment, uh, which may or may not go horribly for me. But the um, at this point now, we have, the, we have what's called the final hunt. Um, and that means that the, the hunters don't know where I am. The, the circle has been taken off the map, and they're just trying to find me. Um, and I have to get to more than a certain distance away from them for an amount, a certain amount of time. Um, exactly what that is, I forget. But basically, it's going to be something like 300, 500 meters for 20 seconds or something like that. Now, <clears throat> what normally happens is that I grab the last checkpoint and then I hoon off like an absolute lunatic to try and get essentially out of the city um, and as far away from them as possible. So they will probably all be scattering to the four winds to try and find me as I, as I, as I do that. Um, that said, I can still hear engines down below and shooting nearby. So they might suspect I'm still on foot. This may or may not work. I'm going to give it a try. There's another one of those blue Durangos. Why are there so many blue Durangos? And there's Tristan down there as well. So he's they, they are still in, in this area at least a little bit. Because they, they, well, they know I came they know I came over here on foot so, or on by swimming. So they're going to be suspicious of me perhaps having taken that checkpoint on foot maybe but I'm sure they're going to expect that I will hoon away from here as best as I can to try and escape as Mike as well um, and so they I, I think they will fairly soon all drive away from here and um, and try and try and uh, try to, to try and try and try and find me as, as I flee um, oh no no there's Pete on a roof no they know what I'm like they have. I say. I say. There's Pete on the roof. I don't know. How, I don't know how. Why I thought that was Pete. I just have this suspicion. 
Um, if I lose because I've tried to showboat like this, I should be quite upset. How do I climb down this thing? Oh, don't show your face. You'll get shot. There's so many of them around this area. I think maybe they ha I think maybe they have an idea of what I've done. Okay, now I'm getting paranoid. I thought this seemed like a fun idea that they would just try and find me by tr driving away at high speed because that's what they always do. What's always happens? I drive away at high speed, so do they. Let's drop down off here head first, please. Not head first, please. Um, let's climb down from here in this sort of, in this sort of rather unfortunate way. Right. I think actually I probably do want to drive away from here because I'm getting paranoid and scared. So I thought it'd be really, I'd be really clever and smug and just sit here and wait, and they dr all drive away, and then I'd win. But that doesn't seem to be happening. They are still in this area, and oh no. <laughs> Too much showboating. Oh. So close as well. <sighs> now I feel stupid. It's a bit across from Eclipse Towers. Okay. I think I found him. Uh, east away from shopping centre, but one road up. Uh, white guy with sort of army crew cut. Jump. Uh, circle jumped far. Yeah, east. Uh, now it turns yeah. south towards Arcadius. Uh, west towards shopping centre. The main shopping centre road. Oh no, this is the road just north of shopping centre. He's approaching shopping centre at the moment. Uh, way faster than me. Northeast corner of shopping centre now, heading west. Uh, turn south uh, down the west side of shopping centre. Oh, back. Lost sight of him. Ew. You're also driving a crappy Dodge. A uh, fast car through shopping center tunnel heading east. That's probably him. Red. Uh, yeah, red turning north. Crashed. He's heading north to the main boulevard, heading back towards. Uh... Oh, he's. No. <laughs> I think he was trying to get a, a new car. Uh, we are at north side shopping center. Passing shopping center now. No, going to the east side, uh, heading south. East side shopping center, heading south towards Acadius. I can't look out if I'm lagging or where the people are. Where's oh, Tommy? Ah, he's faster. He's in a red coupe. Uh, heading west uh, onto lower and south again towards ghetto. I think you're very. Uh, yes, active. he's. I don't see him anymore. I no, I lost him here at the construction site near Ghetto Highway. Back. I think I might have him right here, this red car. <laughs> Is this him? What the heck? Ah! Yeah. I have no tires. <laughs> that was shopping mall, by the way. When you say I was shopping, 
that was the Ow. one he took. I was in shock, he said jump. Okay, I was literally right next to that. And didn't see anything. Don't think it's any of these. Yeah. No one's hungry. Hmm. The mutants are the Uh Western uh, Red Car Western Park. Western Red Car Park. Uh, orange. Heading south. Orange. Uh, Cookout. That one. Yep, heading east uh, towards the north side of Ghetto. So uh, outside Ghetto, north side. Yep, definitely him. Uh, approaching Simeon's. Turning left at Simeon's. Behind you, but if towards you're going to cock it, I'm lower. not going to catch up. Uh, east, higher, lower. Towards the south side of Square of Squares. North along the west side of Square of Squares. Just straight north from there. Uh, turning east west nice at Penrith's building. I take it back. I lost sight of him. I think he turned south along higher. Yes, he did. Uh... Then west, coming down the, the ramps west, higher lower. I don't currently see him though. North, uh, west side of Arcadius. North from Dark Lake. Uh, east side of shopping centre, still heading north, but in the distance and has his lights off. Uh, turning left, north side of shopping centre. Heading west from there. South uh, by Alice Customs. I've lost sight of him. He may have turned into Alice Customs. Or he no, may have just. South. He, he's. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, he's going south at. Uh, Still heading south. Past south side yep. shopping centre. Going round. He's now heading north of the east side of shopping centre. He's crashed. He's crashed. He's crashed. And I've rammed him. And Mark's hit him as well. Heading Ooh. north again, in, uh, uh, turning east from shopping centre tunnel. Still heading east. Still heading east. Pulling away from me quite quickly, but still heading east. South. Turning south at basically the end of the road. Heading south over by whatever the. Ah. Hello. Uh, turn right from square squares. Boss at this time. No ice, turn left. Uh, go car change. He's in one of those crappy dodge things. It's a grey one. Heading west out of ghetto, uh, we're at the petrol station. Uh, he's taken a left, so we're heading south past Ring of Fire. And that's a right, uh, west past a car wash. Continuing west. <coughs> uh, still continuing west towards the flame. <coughs> Over the rail lines, passing the flame now. Uh, continuing west, we're heading yeah, down the pass towards the heliport. I'm going to keep going this way, Mike. Uh, sure. That's in Heliport heading south towards Vespucci. That's presumably uh, no, take that back, sorry. We're passing Heliport heading south towards the airport, even. 
gonna say. Uh, he's taking the lower road. So continuing towards airport um, by the pain spray. He's turned his lights off, because of course he has. Uh, we're on the beach going off road now. Um, he's in the water. Genius. Ooh. I mean, I guess I just aim and try and shoot him. Where are you? Oh, what? Uh, my car exploded. Bad times. Can't see him. He's clearly underwater. That's Follow possible. the red circle, I guess. Probably He'll be around here somewhere. He goes a very, very long way once he gets into the water. Right. Once long. he remembers how to swim. What's yeah, he's either heading towards the airport or towards the um, I'm breakwater. The Get. Uh, beach checkpoint. Beach checkpoint. Yeah. Minky bugger. Got in blue car, I think. Where? No, it's a green car. Is, that, is this you? I'm coming up on green. Uh, yes, yeah, that's me. Okay. Sorry, that he was he was going away right away from the checkpoint, so I thought it was. I'm climbing up onto a building by the checkpoint. Okay, so shoot all people on buildings by checkpoints. Oh, there's a tugboat at this checkpoint. He took this checkpoint on foot because of where the tugboat is. I'll ask you to work through that logic with me. He took the checkpoint on foot because of where the tugboat is. Yes. Uh, the tugboat spawns where he was. Ah, right. Nope, close line. It very much feels like he's loitering around to try and win by not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The question is, how quickly will he give up with that grab a car and drive off? Yeah. Pretty, pretty quickly. So all we know is that it's a short-haired male character model. White. In casual wear. Oh, nice! Oh, nice! <laughs> How? What? Amazing. He was wandering around <laughs> in a hit where I am. Nice. He's standing here just in the back alley wandering or... around. Yeah. Uh, okay, so in that case, he's seen us driving around. Is he panicking? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I thought I'd try and just sort of go to earth and go to ground and wait for you to all um, drive away and then just blow up all by yourselves and that'd be funny. Um, it would have been, except we deduced that was what you were doing. 